morning, brothers and sisters. Let's let's look at this one. This one is quite something. And I want to point something out to you again. And yes, it's again about the Catholic Church. Bishop Strickland, World Youth Day is helping to secularize the Catholic Church and de-emphasize Christ. The 2023 World Youth Day has touted its focus is climate change aspects and also interfaith dialogue. Uh, what a tragedy that World Youth Day has fallen prey to the current trend to secularize the Catholic Church and de-emphasize Jesus Christ. No wonder it will have the lowest attendance since John Paul II first began it in 1986. It was a beautiful moment of evangelization. Uh, running from August 1st through 6th, the 17th World Youth Day will see Pope Francis join the assembled participants from the 2nd to the 6th. The international event first started by John Paul the second in 84 has seen over 350,000 registered attendants so far, but plenty of unregistered joining. The 49-year-old prelate, who previously served as council member of his local Socialist Party between 1994 and 1997, this is Cardinal-designate Americo Manuel Alves Aguiar, probably butchering his name, made waves amongst Catholic media when he stated that the World Youth Day would not be for converting people to Christ, because obviously the focus is not Jesus. So he made a whole statement. This is part of the statement. Enjoy being with each other. And in the end, we joined hands and said, I think differently. I feel differently. I organize my life differently. But we are brothers and we are going to build the future together. This is the main message of the encounter with the living Christ that the Pope wants to offer young people. We don't want to convert people to Christ or to the Catholic Church or anything like that, absolutely, exclamation mark. Keep Jesus out of it. He won't be part of it. Don't worry. We will hide him in the back room where we keep him so that no one can know we have anything to do with him. It's all about us just being brothers and having a good time. Sounds like the world we're living in right now, and that's actually the biggest problem. If you have to hide him in the back room and keep him out of things, maybe you should just call it a day immediately. Pope Francis signaled that the World Youth Day was indeed a project run based on the ideology of Fratelli Tutti as he signed the Portuguese President's Book of Honor with the words, I pray and hope. That this young-hearted country will continue to move forward towards horizons of fraternity. No Jesus, no salvation, no repentance, no nothing. Um, according to the pillow, organizers were informed that the ecumenical aspect of the World Youth Day was a direct request from Pope Francis as one of his priorities. Elements central to climate change ideology are high on the priority list and the Pope's specific intervention. Sustainability, a central objective of this total organization. Climate change, LGBTQ, they're religions. They have adherents and followers. They are not being kept in the back room. It is an evil, dark, generation that we're living in the days of noah and the days of lot and i'm sure when we get up there shortly both noah and lot are gonna go dudes sure you keep saying those are our days but your days were worse because it was a combination of both god bless keep reaching out for the lost and keep looking up shalom